We do have the latest advisory coming in from the National Hurricane Center. Uh, not showing much change with the winds, but we have seen the pressure come up and the hurricane hunters struggling to find the eye of the storm. Yeah, so about a day or two ago, there was a defined eye with this towards the bottom here. But because we've been seeing an increase in the amount of drier air, that is the reason why Lee is slowly starting to lose strength here. I mean, you know what? About uh, 24 hours ago, but I mean, we had max winds over 100 miles per hour, and now we only have winds around 85 miles per hour. It doesn't matter what we end up calling this storm here. I mean, bottom line, it's still going to produce quite a punch here. Yes, there's a look at our team coverage. So we're literally fanned across New England and also stretching into Canada. That's where we're expecting landfall is going to be somewhere in Nova Scotia during the day tomorrow. But impacts, they start tonight for New England and power outages are a large concern as well as coastal flooding. Uh, so there's a look at the latest. The winds are at 85 miles per hour. We're moving north at 16 miles per hour and that's going to be a continuing trend. We're going to start to accelerate this storm as we work our way through the next six to 12 hours. Uh, Besides the wind speed staying the same, a couple things to note in between advisories here, the 5 a.m. and the 8 a.m., the pressure is starting to come up. That eventually will take a hit at the winds. As the pressure comes up, the winds start to calm down. But we are still expecting the winds to be above 80 miles per hour through tomorrow morning. So as we work this storm closer to New England, which will feel impacts tomorrow morning, we're going to be waking up to rain in places like Boston and Cape Cod. The winds are still going to be above 80 miles per hour. Now, as we look at landfall during the day tomorrow in Nova Scotia, it is important to note that we still have Eastport, Maine in the cone. So it is still possible that we get a U.S. landfall, but our computer malls really targeting in on Nova Scotia. That's where we have the hurricane watch. So the strongest winds are going to be felt there. Eastport, Maine still underneath that hurricane watch. Tropical storm warnings kick in from Bar Harbor all the way down towards Nantucket, and we're expecting hours of tropical storm conditions across the coastal areas of New England. Uh, this is really your last moment to prepare. This is not a storm that you're, you know, picking up your stuff and leaving. This is a storm that you're hunkering down. You have a good chance of losing power. And because the wind field is so large, you could be without power for at least 24, if not 48 hours. Now the sun is coming up and we can run our visible satellite. And Jason, this is an important thing to bring up because the hurricane hunters are struggling to find an eye and this is showing us why. Uh, so looking at the loop here of the visible satellite, I'm going to have Christopher Tate, our meteorologist behind scenes, to pause the loop and what we're noticing here is that we're having a stretching of the eye it's becoming mm -hmm. more elongated because the storm is being impacted by that jet stream we're literally seeing that transformation take place from a hurricane to a non-tropical storm and this is a good thing for the folks up in new england because that means that you won't be getting as much rain uh, with the system here now you're still going to get a, a fair amount of wind here especially if you are on that north or that westerly side here because because most of tropical systems do move in a counterclockwise rotation. So we're going to continue to see those winds pull in up from the north as well as the west here. And you alluded to this earlier about the fact that we will end up seeing some beach erosion as well as some, you know, coastal flooding here, all due to that wraparound effect here. Yeah, so it's interesting to see this trans transformation take place literally in front of our eyes. Uh, now, as we work our way through the next 12 hours, what we're going to notice along the coast is really seeing the winds pick up. And that also is going to come in with the large waves. Here's the steering for Lee. So the trough that is currently over the East Coast, that's already scooped up the system. That happened yesterday with that north turn. So this is going to be moving right up to the north and pushing right into the Canadian Maritimes and impacting New England. England. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.